Okay, we're going to do a, a reading for Kim Kardashian and her love life. Um, now, I don't, I don't know much about Kim Kardashian, so I'm just going to use the cards and my intuition just to see what's happening. We're going to look into 2012, the whole year of 2012, and see if her love life is going to get good or bad or whatever. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm shuffling the cards and flipping some over. These are called Find a Man cards. So we're going to look for Kim Kardashian, which will be the heart card, and then the man will be the man card. Let's see. So the first card... The first card that she's got is another lover. Another lover would indicate that she's probably not going to be focusing on one male, one, one, one man. She'll probably have a few. She'll probably date a few. Let's see the rest of it. Well, there's a man there. So there's already a man in her life, I would say, that she already knows, but she's not focusing on him. She's focusing on another lover. So there's more than one interest for her in her love life. Now over here, So over here we have easy connection. So there's definitely this a man that she already knows or thinks about. Because mm. he's already in the first row, which means that he's someone that she's already knows of. And the card beside him is an easy connection. And the card beside that is you already know. So it's definitely showing that she's got someone in mind already that she, she might even be already dating, but it looks like she's not exclusively dating him because there's another lover in between. So let's keep going. Yeah, so the card underneath him is slow and steady progress. So that would indicate he needs to just take his time and not force things. She hasn't, now here she is now. I was about to say she hasn't come out yet, but she's come out now. Now, this card represents Kim Kardashian. Now, if you notice, the card's upside down. So it's saying that she's kind of not ready for love or romance, even for the, till the end of this year because this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So she's kind of like second part of the year and she's still not upright, which indicates she's not really open to a serious relationship, although there's someone that she's involving. Yeah, she's got to clear the past. Okay. Third party. And then the last card is blockages and conflict. So she's definitely blocking, there's a blockage energy with this woman's love life. She's not quite ready, she's upside down, she has to clear the past. She's got a bit of a blind spot too, so she may not realise that she has to clear the past fully, or she may think that she already has cleared the past. So there's an energy of her still having to deal with herself. It also shows us lust and third party influences. So what that indicates is she's not focusing on one particular male person this year, and the last card is let go and blockage and conflict. So on this side, she has to let go, and then she still has a blockage and a conflict still um, playing out for her in her love life. So, okay? 